Did you miss last week's Coomer's Country? Let's catch you up. I'm gonna get off here then and uh, run up there before somebody else gets to them. Oil is the hot commodity in these Kentucky hills and no one wheels and deals more than Travis Coomer. Cash is hard to turn down. We I'll take 17 to five. And just that quick, Travis was on a new prospect hole at the Moyes Ranch. Will he strike it rich? And what about the constable and his constant harassment with his true passion? Appreciate it, sir. Yes, sir, buddy. Thank you very much. Selling moonshine. Stay tuned as we enter Coomer's country. In order to make money, Travis Coomer drills oil wells, searching for the black gold. Dang, dang. It's easy to find Travis in the morning, always checking in at the family store. I've been waiting on a call from Tony all morning. What y'all been into? He generally calls me every morning, give me an update, see if he needs anything before I go up there. Hello. Hey, what's going on, Tony? He's up on that Floyd pasture there on a well. Well. We need to run down that black shell and see what happened. Then we gotta see Matt Pike. Alrighty, I'll be on up there then. All right, give boy, we see. Seems like he's got everything taken care of, but he needs some pipe dope. Luckily, I know where some is. When you live out in the country, you always gotta be prepared. Simple thing like a bucket of pipe dope leave you sitting around for days. We keep just about everything here ready to go. Yeah. Tell Larry to hold the fort down while I'm gone. Will do. Tell y'all. Yeah. I've lived in country all my life. You know, it's just beautiful out in the country. Cows out in the pasture grazing, and everybody's got alfalfa and corn and tobacco and. Why the air is cleaner. You live in a big old city, you can't even see the stars. You can get out here on a on a dark night and the stars are so bright and you think it's uh, somebody got lights on. But I like open space. It's good to drive through the country and pull up to an old rig and you boys out there early in the morning working and it's just a beautiful sight. Seems like everything's going pretty well. Pull that around, man. Why, well, the old thing looks like doing good. Uh, cutting, cutting pretty quick this morning. Yeah. All the gauges all look good. I mean, temperature and Everything. Uh, that, that new bit we run yesterday on that surface hole made big cuttings, didn't it? Like, sure it is, yep. I mean, them was big. Yep, ran out big, right? Yep. I'd say it's going to outcut a hammer. I think so. Looks like it. Less maintenance. Well, yeah, you stop your hammer oil, and then, uh, you know, a daggum hammer, a lot of moving parts, costs a lot of money to run a hammer. But uh, we're going to put that six and a quarter on here sometime today, and we'll find out what that little bit does. Black shell will come in about 300. Did it pack any gas, shell? Nah, I don't, I, most time it don't, maybe a little, but it won't be enough, I don't think, bother us. Well, we've about got this one down, I guess we need to put one more on that order to get the shell. Yeah. 
we'll be ready to cement. First thing we do when we, we start drilling a hole, why we'll cut an eight and three quarter inch hole and set seven inch in it. And that's to get down below our fresh water zone. That'd be around 300 feet with our seven inch. Our stems on our rigs, 25 foot long. We cut about 100 feet of air while we're drilling. Air goes down through that pipe and blows the cuttings out, back up, out, up through that hole and back out on the ground. Got a five gallon bucket. Catch me a bunch of that hole out there. We just hit the shell and, and I taste enough of it there and you can tell, tell if you got any salt water in it, you know, if you got any salt. If you set your pipe before, you know, before you get that black shale, a lot of time you'll get some water right on top of that shale, and a lot of time we'll taste of it to see if we've got any water or if it's salt water or whatever it is. 320. 320. That's got pyrite in it. Yep. Hey, do you know what created that black shale? Uh, they tell me that volcano ice blowed in here years ago and what done that. And okay. top, top of knock. Supposed to be top of the earth. Used to be top of the earth. That black shell's got pyrite in it. We're gonna hit a big oil well. I've been up uh, running some of that black shell under a black light. So much got fluorescent in it. You ever done that? Nah, I feel really I ain't. I've seen it done on Well, we'll do this that way, but. If I go over here at Dale's, I can find out a whole lot of what his whale's doing. You know, a big whale that he hit. Yeah. You know, if I can get over there and, and, and not let him know I'm over there, we can find out what size jack he's got. Might find out how deep it is, but I reckon it's Knox, what everybody said. Yeah. But, uh... Well, he got a flat tire right now. It'll be a good, good time to get over with. Yeah, I think so. I'm going to slip in there and see if I can get, get over and look at that before, uh, before he gets back. that work. All right. I'll see y'all, boys. Later. With the drills running full steam ahead, he just couldn't help snooping over at the neighbor's well. Well, that well's hitting on top. Uh oh, yarn comes Dale. By God, I tell you what, this is my lease. You're drilling over here. You're drilling too yeah, close I'm, to the damn line. Yeah, How does Travis get out of this mess he's gotten himself into? Find out when we come back on Coomer's Country. Coomer's Country is being brought to you by Black Gold Moonshine, real Kentucky moonshine made the right way. And by Bit Brokers, tricones, hole openers, cutters, and more. Don't drill without Bit Brokers. And by Switzerland County Tourism. Switzerland County, we live it, you'll love it. And by Jeffrey Machine, the world's largest privately owned auger company. And by Dustless Blasting, it's the future of surface preparation. Rumblings around town about Travis' neighbor Dale striking oil nearby has piqued his interest. Travis had to go and help himself to drive by and take a look. Well, I'm gonna pull in here and check Dale's well out. Uh, he got a flat tire. It'd be a good time for me to look at it and see what that thing's making. He won't never know it. Dale is a good feller. Uh, he's real easy to get upset. Damn, I ain't getting electrocuted here, fooling with these kind of fences. I don't know why they won't fool with them kind of gates anyway. He'll jump on you if you ain't, you know, if you don't kind of watch how you do it handling, but uh, Dale's a good feller. He just, uh, you gotta know how to take him. Dale should really lock these gates because anybody could just open a gate and come right in like I do. Yeah, right over there's my drill. I ain't very far from this lease. First thing I noticed when I got to this well is hitting on top. So, you know, it's making a lot of fluid. I don't know how much of it's water or if it's all oil. It could be all oil, it could be all water. I, you know, I don't know. That well's hitting right on top. I guess it's making a full head of oil. And you can tell by feeling where that bridle hits at. The pump, whenever you reach up there and get a hole, that 
that bridle, you can feel uh, where that's hitting at, and, and, and you know that that fluid's up over that pump down there. You just, you know, if you're around one of them, you can, you can tell where that well's hitting at, if it's got fluid in it or if it's pumped off, and this one's hitting a full stroke. Uh oh, here comes Dale. Oh no, Dale, he's gonna be pissed. Yeah, I just out checking some leases out this morning. Damn gate was down. I pulled down where the well's at. <laughs> Lo and behold, Travis Coomer was sitting down there uh, checking my well out. He and I have been feuding for years. What's going on, Dale? What the hell do you think you're doing, Travis? Why, well, just uh, over here to look at your lease a little bit. Seeing uh, everybody said you had a well make 100 barrel day, and uh, I just kind of come over here to check it out a little bit. You're always sticking your friggin' that? nose in somebody else's business, well, Travis. I, hey, that don't hurt nothing me to come over here and look at your old well, Dale. This is my damn lease. I know it's your lease, but you ain't making no oil no way. I just want to come over here and check it out for myself. Well, you don't I'll need to come what. down here and jump on me just because I want to come over here and look at your lease. By God, I tell you what. This is my lease. You're drilling over here. You're drilling too yeah, close I'm, to the damn line. Yeah, now you fool me. I'll put one right up under you over here. I'll do a horizontal hole, and you won't be making a hole in a day or two. <laughs> I got it, Travis. I was out here What'd three friggin' years. Before you ever stuck your nose, I come well, by. Yeah, but you I come, come by and I ask you, you, you to go in and drill with me. I yeah, well. Yeah, I remember that. You said, "Well, there ain't no wall up there." Yeah, but you come up here and hit a big well. What am I supposed to do? Said it's the house, just like well, let him go on up there and do what he wants to. I come over and got me a lease right beside yours. If you can make a hundred barrel day, I can too. Well, I mean that's just the way you do it. It's left to be seen. Well, that's. I'll drill, drill, I'll drill. I'll get Sarah it. Palin, drill, drill, drill. I'll get a big well over where I'm at right now. I'll bet you $500 you don't. How much? $500. I'll take that any day. That's like free money. But I went over and checked it out. Why well, I should have called you. You're in you. the wrong not. damn place. Wrong place? That well's going to have $500 blow out of it in a few days. Yeah, I've been watching old Travis. He's about a thousand foot off of where I think it is. I know you had a flat tire, and I said, well, I can slip in there and check your well before he gets here, and I didn't mean to make you mad. I, I apologize to you. All right. I'll get off here, and I won't come back on your lease no more, but now, if you don't drill something, I'll drill something with you. Okay. We need to buddy up and drill some holes together. Why well, hell, you know, I'd be out the money. You'd get the oil. Uh, I don't see no future in that. Dale, he's irritable, but he's a good guy. We'll get together and drill some holes someday. I mean, I do you right on it, Dale. Well, I'll get out of here, Dale. I'm sorry about coming on your lease. I just want to see what you had over here. Okay, buddy. I see. You take care. Yep. By golly, next time you decide to encroach on my damn leases and check my wells out, at least close a friggin' gate. Do Dale and Travis team up and do well together? Does Dale make good on his $500 bet? That'll have to wait for another day. Stay tuned for more on Coomer's Country. After Travis' team finished drilling down to the shale layer, that black shell's got pyrite in it. We're gonna hit a big old well. Excitement was running high. It was a perfect time for Tim to drop by and see how Travis liked the new style of cutting bit. Tim, he sold me this one bit, uh, cuts the surface hole with, gets us down to about three or 400 feet. I'm kind of anxious to see what that six and a quarter bit does. Tim, we run that bit right there, and uh, that thing out cut my hammer, I was wrong. You was right. You gonna say that one more time again? Yeah, I said, Tim, you was right and I was wrong. Again, <laughs> again. again's the key word. <laughs> okay. So, you know, we'll see how that thing does. Uh, that right there is the key to the whole thing, really. If that thing there, I'll cut my little hammer. Why? 
you know, I guess everybody that's on the drilling rig will throw their hammers away. That's the plan, Stan. That's the plan, ain't it? Yeah. I, if the top hole down good, the bottom hole and is gonna do fantastic, so you'll be all right. You know, I guess that thing's kind of hard on the top, and then it softens up till you get down around 1,000, 12, 1,500 feet, it'll harden up some. Right. And it may just be because we're getting deeper and it takes longer for air to get back and the cuttings to get back. I don't know why they slow down, but they'll do when you get down there about 14, 1,500 feet. These pipes, air goes down through that pipe and blows the cuttings out, back up, out, up through that hole and back out on the ground. We cut about 100 feet of air while we're drilling. And the idea of that air it is it keeps that hole clean where we can more, you know, we go in and, and bust up some more rock and it blows it out as we drill. That's how that operates. Yeah, that thing's got all kinds of airways, ain't it? Yeah, we took all the jets out of it so it would cut yeah. and get you as much air as you could. He says that these PDC bits are getting a lot of footage. We don't get that kind of footage out of a hammer bit. So, I mean, I, you know, I was surprised when I run that bit right there. Versus running it shouldn't surprise you, Trav. 8-inch hammer. It shouldn't surprise you. You know, right there's an 8-inch hammer, and them thing costs about $7,500, and the bid costs about $1,200. You know, wherever 25, 30,000 feet you wore a hammer out, you know. Yep. A bit like that up in Canada got around 130,000 feet. I had 8.5, 130,000 feet. That was a 778s. Seven, seven, 778s. Seven, that is a little bit different design. It's got some bigger cutters on it. It's going to be a little bit more aggressive. When you told me this and air done so well, I thought, it's not as hard as you thought it was. One man's hard, it's another man's soft. Yeah. So yeah. I bought you something that's a little bit more aggressive. It'll probably drill faster than this one did. Yeah. Well, right here, some of these cuttings, uh, that bit cutting such big flakes, you know, that's one reason that thing's cutting so fast. I mean, you know, it's not crushing it up. Yeah, it ain't crushing up. It's just flaking it off and blowing it out. Probably bigger pieces than that down there if you could really see the bottom of it. <laughs> yeah, they do a hell of a job. You'll be saying again, again, Tim. Again, again, Tim. Oh, again, a Tim. <laughs> All right. Stay tuned to see what happens with Travis's booming moonshine hobby as Tom drops by to give him the news about his progress of making his product legal to sell on Coomer's Country. Coomer's Country is being brought to you by Black Gold Moonshine, real Kentucky moonshine made the right way. Bit brokers, tricones, hole openers, cutters, and more don't drill without bit brokers. Switzerland County Tourism. Switzerland County, we live it, you'll love it. Jeffrey Machine, the world's largest privately owned auger company. And by Dustless Blasting, it's the future of surface preparation. Never a dull moment in Columbia, Kentucky, as Travis rushes back to the store to meet up with Tom, the man in charge of taking Travis Moonshine Hobby to the next level. He's a hard man. That Travis is hard to work for. Hey, oh, Tom, Lord. Tom. Speaking of the devil. How are you, buddy? I'm doing good, Travis. Boy, I, sit down. I got to tell you about the moonshine. Buddy. Oh, yeah. Let's hear about it. Tom is a truck pull promoter that... Uh, Helping me get legal with some moonshine, black gold moonshine. I'm waiting on him to get all the paperwork done and get my moonshine on the shelf. Remember what happened when we was up there with them boys at Bardstown? Yeah. I can already tell this ain't going in well. They made a big brand. They didn't quite tell us what was going on, and we were novice, and me and you know me and my team were. Uh, they didn't tell us they were selling a brand, so they couldn't really sell any moonshine or whiskey. Kept us in the dark there. Are you getting any of this? Some boys in Bardstown making a brand? What does that have for me uh, selling some moonshine today? I need to sell some moonshine today, right now. Well, which if I was getting several million dollars for a brand, I would, uh, I'd have been quiet too. Several what? getting several million dollars for a brand. For a what? For a brand, I would, uh, I'd have been quiet too. I'm trying to explain it to Travis, but I don't think he gets it. 
I don't get it. Here's what's happened. Our boy in Georgetown has been offered a fat check to sell his distillery. So he is going to decide if he's going to stay on with them, if he stays on So I don't get it. Is the boy offering to sell his distillery? What does that have to do with me needing to sell some moonshine? If he stays on with them, he can't do her moonshine. If he doesn't stay on with them, the boys, he's got some boys in Frankfurt that can do it for us. And uh, they can do it for us regardless. So I need a few more days before it's ready. But, you know, just like the boys in Bardstown, Travis, people are coming into this uh, moonshine and bourbon world and they're buying brands left and right. Millions of dollars are exchanging hands. What? Millions of dollars are exchanging hands. Millions, Millions of, of dollars, dollars are exchanging, exchanging hands. hands. Whose hands? Not my hands. It's black gold heaven, Travis, but it ain't ready today, man. I need a few more days. Now, I've got to haul some shine today. I can't wait another two weeks. I mean, I've got to haul it today. It's got to be delivered by dark today. You mean that's what you was expecting me was to bring the shine in? Because, I mean, it's there, but he's selling the company. I can't go to Georgetown and get it without going to jail. I lay, Tom. I gotta go move some shine. I mean, I gotta move it today. Well, I tell you what, you, you I don't know anything about you moving the shine, but you give me a few more days and we'll have the we'll have it done the right way, Travis. But I only handle the legal part and it ain't done, Travis. Well, I you know, I got a lot of customers that's gotta have it. Uh, I got an idea, I gotta figure it out how we can get it done. What do you mean, Travis? What are well, you gonna do? Don't worry about it, I gotta figure it out, Tom. I'll see you in there or two. When you get mine done why give me a call i'll get it done but now travis what are you gonna do i got an idea i'll take care of it i'll see you tomorrow lord have mercy oh no what the heck does travis have up his sleeve see what happens next week as we follow travis in coomer's country hot dogs there comes coomer